Hey guys, so today's workout is a three rounds for time of an 800 meter run, 50 sit-ups, and then either 25 handstand push-ups or normal push-ups. I'll take you through the warm-up, guys. You've also got an optional three minute holler hold to accumulate if you can. Every time you break, you're gonna look at doing 25 air squats. So the warm-up, guys, you're working your way through 10 air squats, a 10 meter crawl forwards, 10 shoulder taps, a 10 meter crawl backwards, and then 10 knees to elbows, cool? So the air squats, guys, nice and simple. You guys all know this. Hips back and down, stand tall at the top. Cool, nice and simple. Your crawl, you can either do a box crawl, guys, where you keep nice and low to the floor. So keep the knees bent, keep like a shoulder, a uh, tabletop position, and you're gonna move opposite arm, opposite leg in a more mechanical way. Cool. The other thing you can do, guys, is a bear crawl. If you're not a fan of the box crawl, keep your hips nice and high and load your hamstrings a little bit more. Cool, so you do your 10 meters forward. Once you've done that, you're moving onto your shoulder tap, so into a plank position. Keeping the hips nice and high, guys, and you just simply shift your weight, tap your shoulder, and then go to the other side through 10 reps. Yeah. Then you do your back bear crawl or uh, box crawl, guys, and then the knee to elbow, very similar to a mountain climber. We're just going to do it a little bit slower. So in that plank position, knee up, and then switch. Cool. Nice and simple. Just maintaining that nice high plank position for us. So two rounds of that, guys, just for your warm-up. Um, and then the workout of the day, guys, as I said earlier, 800 meter run. So generally, if you're not sure on distances, guys, two minutes out, two minutes back. And that will roughly give you about a similar kind of time than 800 meters. 50 sit-ups, guys. If you want to mimic an ab mat, um, as I say, grab yourself a pillow you've got at home or you can fold up a piece of clothing and just tuck that into your lower back where you would fill your lumbar with a normal uh, mat. Keep your feet together as we always do in classes, guys. Touch above your head, touch above your toes. Cool. And then that last movement, guys, handstand push up. So obviously be careful if you're doing these in your living room, you're probably better outside, otherwise you're gonna kick your TV or what you know, the cat over or something like that. So make sure you do it outside if you can, guys. Um, or you've got your normal push up. So we'll just spin round and take you through the handstand push up here. So as I say, if you've got an outside wall, guys, great. Um, again, see if you can get a pillow or something just to support your head in that bottom position. Normal kick up, guys, keeping the hands in front of the head. You're gonna lower down to your head touches the mat and you can push back up for strict. Or if you're gonna kip, guys, tuck your knees into your chest and kick high. Cool. If we're struggling with these guys, just go for a normal push up. All right, so hands underneath the shoulders, chest down to the deck, push back high. Cool, or drop to your knees, as always. Sweet. So that's your workout, guys. Um, obviously, see if you can submit times for us, three rounds, four times, quick as you can. Um, as I said, there is an optional holler hold if you want to, guys. So after you've finished your workout, obviously let you, let you kind of get your breath back. Holler hold position, so you want your lower back and bum in contact with the floor, and you're gonna keep your shoulders raised with the feet. All right, so that's your holler hold position. In terms of scaling options, guys, you can bring one leg in and your hands forward, and that just shortens that lever length. You can go for the double knee, or obviously you can go straight legs. All right. Every time you break 25 air squats, just set yourself a little timer so you can keep an eye on the time. Um, three minutes is what you're aiming for. In terms of a cool down, guys, um, super hippie shoulder workout. Um, so I'd suggest maybe a downward dog variation, just pedaling out those heels, and then just driving your hips down to the ground, chest up just to open up your hips a little bit and then thread that arm through and drop your shoulder and just do that on both sides guys um, I'd maybe do it two or three times through spend about five to ten seconds in each stretch all right guys any questions leave us in the comments um, hopefully see you soon